Znate da je fest u Beogradu i nema većeg zadovoljstva nego kada ne morate da objašnjavate glumca, gosta koji je došao da otvori fest. To je Ralf Fajns, čovek koji je oduševio sinoćnu publiku u centru Sava na otvaranju festa, jer se pokazalo da naša publika tačno zna ko je ko i ko je prava svetska zvezda. Želili su da iskažu svoje oduševljenje i slušajte aplauze. A ovo je samo deo pred sam intervju. When I was young, I had an affair with Hannah. The affair only lasted a summer, but what? What? All the roles which you are having and when you are acting, you are showing an enormous amount of emotion, enormous amount of emotion. And as a brilliant actor, psychologically, do you go through it? Do you, do you suffer? Well, if the part it demands suffering and there's confusion and there's um, conflict inside a part, then the, I think the actor's job is to engage imaginatively with that conflict, with that inner turmoil. Does it affect you? Uh, yes, with some parts it affects you. If you if you're f spend 12, 18 hours a day just connected to the life of the parts, then of course it affects you. Yeah. What was your reaction uh, with the film reader? Well, when you see yourself in a new film for the first time, um, it's always odd because you have such memories of how you made it and you're very preoccupied with the memory of the days, so it's not, you don't... I found it quite emotional, but not just because of the story, but because of the work and the memory of working with all those people. Um, the second time I saw it, I was, I was, I was more distant from it. But the first time I, I was affected by it, yes. In this film they say that uh, the psychology of a man is presented in a very, very interesting it's way. It's, if anything, it's, it's the trauma of, of a, the inner yeah. trauma of a man who is emotionally locked down. But I don't think all men are like that necessarily. Many men are perhaps, but not all. You? Uh, sometimes. Instead that you are for Oscar, uh, festivity. You are in Belgrade. For the Oscars? No, I'm here for the festival. Yes, yeah, yeah. you're not for the Oscars in Hollywood. No. Why? I don't know. Ask the, ask the Academy. <laughs> I think Belgrade should be true to itself. It, it sounds like you have a very rich festival here which integrates different forms of performance and artistic expression. It's not just a film festival. I think that makes it unique. This is not your first time in this town. And that, no. no, it's my third. Third. Yeah. This is very suspicious. Why? Well, I came here last summer. I've been l on location scouts because it is my intention to make a film version of Shakespeare's Coriolanus. In effect, it's a political thriller. It's a story of power politics centered around one, one man and his relationship with his mother. You're in the right country, you know that. Uh, well, yes, I do know that, yes. But I'm very, I'm, it's very exciting here. The locations are wonderful, we think. And uh, I'm lucky that I worked previously with Gabi Tana on a Duchess. Uh, and now she, being half Serbian, it's great to have her partnership and friendship to help, to help make the film happen here. She can join us. Can you move? Yeah. yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Th definitely it would be very nice to meet her. Where you met, Gabi? We met um, when I joined the... Well, when did we meet? It was a meeting to do with the Duchess, yeah, was it? Absolutely. In London. What do they want? To see me and my new wife. You'll get London. used to it. Yeah, when we were casting the film and when he agreed to do it. <laughs> so when is it going to be? I hope we will start uh, pre-production at the end of this year. To shoot a year from now. Where is going to be the first location in Belgrade? Samira, it's too, too early to say. <laughs> you are going to stay in Belgrade for how long? Well, uh, you know, probably about three months in terms of actually doing the pre-production and then the you know, filming. and That's about what it'll take. Mm. Does it mean that you can be live on my show? What do you think? You're going to be three months in Belgrade and I'm having a show every Saturday. So 
Can I have your word that you might be for five, six minutes? I'll be happy to talk to you, Mira. To je bio intervju koji je rađen u hotelu Hayat u apartmanu gde je gospodin Fajns odseo. Danas je gospodin Radoslav Zelenović, direktor kinoteke, već po tradici uručio veliko priznanje, zlatni pečat za doprino svetskom filmu. Već po tradici to su dobili ranije Ken Russell, Liv Ullman, Mihalkov, a Fajns je 23. po redu. Uslov je uvek bio da je to svetski doprinos, naravno filmu i još nešto, da su stvarno bili u Beogradu, znači da su bili u Beogradu.